Hello everyone. On behalf of everybody at the National Youth Theatre, I want to sincerely thank you all for taking part in this year's silent auction. Yes, that word silent really does resonate more than ever at the moment, doesn't it? Wherever you are, I hope you're very well. Whoever you are, I want to thank you for your generosity, particularly if you've donated some of the wonderful prizes that you're about to bid for. Now, you can be silent or you can scream about it. Um, we quite like to make a lot of noise at the National Youth Theatre and normally at one of these events, yes, it's just me and you at the moment, I still class it as an event, normally at our great fundraising event, the last one at the beginning of this year, there's a lot of noise, a lot of celebration, a lot of messaging and absolutely showcasing some of the best British talent the UK has to offer. And why is it the best? Because you, our donors, our supporters, our friends, our audience believes in them. And right now, we need to believe in our young creatives more than ever before. Cast your minds back and your hearts back to the early days of lockdown, where, I don't know about you, but if you're like me, an urbanite, suddenly we could hear birdsong. And it felt quite romantic, didn't it? Despite all the challenges and all the health scares, for a moment, there was peace. And we could hear things for the first time that we haven't heard in a very, very long time. But actually, if you think about that bird song and you think about the voice of a young person and you take that out of our world forevermore, those birds pale into insignificance. This is the reality of the situation. Over 92% of arts graduates have literally fallen off a cliff this year. There's been no financial support. There's been no opportunity. Young creatives' careers are absolutely in jeopardy. The National Youth Theatre has been a fantastic lifeline for those young people, more than 15,000 during lockdown and this pandemic. We've actually employed over 300 young creatives. When I say lifeline, I really mean that. An optimistic giver of opportunity that pushes new boundaries. We've just performed in a field in Shropshire for the very first time, actually because of the pandemic. We turn adversity into positivity. That's what creatives do. And right now, so many young people need your support. Right now, we all need your support. So thank you. In the run-up to Christmas, if we survive that long, I hope it's a good one. And absolutely, we look forward to a vaccine and getting back to some kind of normality. But the biggest vaccine is the injection of youth. Without them, we have no hope. So please invest in them, because they are all our futures. Hopefully, we'll sing again in the room together. Thank you.